Libra. What a goddamn Vibra. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vibra. Thank you. Each and every one of you guys for clicking this video. Thank you so much to all my OGs. Thank you so much to all my newbies. Thank you so much to every last one of you guys that has been supporting me all 2020. Show me the money energy. Libra, listen. I am so excited to come back in here and see what's going on with y'all. Listen, I've been doing these readings. And honey, it has been some tea, you, 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 you coming out on here. On this here table here, so we about to see what's going on with you guys. I hope you guys have been having a fabulous and festive um, uh, lockdown. I don't know. We still locked down. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> we still trapped in the house, y'all. So listen. Um, of course, you know if you would like to book a personal and private reading with me, only thing you need to do is click the about tab on my YouTube page. Send me a message on Instagram. Uh, my pricing list is on my YouTube page, and um, if you do not have Instagram, you can connect with me to do the video chat for your um, reading on Google Hangouts. Which only thing we need to do is exchange emails. So if you do not have Instagram, just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com and I'll help get you all set up on Google Hangouts and we'll be good to go from there, okay? If you guys would like to send any love or show a support to the page, my um, Amazon wish list, my PayPal and my cash app is on the about tab um, where you can, you know, send in support. We have a lot of new decks here today, um, which... A few of them I have not even rolled out on this table yet because we did get a lot of new decks coming in. So again, I thank every last one of you guys for supporting me throughout this time. Um, we're going to say a prayer over this energy. Again, we're trying to find out what the energy is for August. And you know... We're going to keep it moving. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here today. Thank you so much for touching down in our life and just showing us how to just make way and sacrifice and let go of, you know, unnecessary baggage so that we can move a little faster. Because sometimes we just don't even realize how we're trying to carry so many things with us that it's really weighing us down and it's slowing down the momentum so father god we're trying to pick it back up we're sacrificing a lot of dead weight father god and we're just look, looking fit and trim and just trying to get it all the way in you know so uh we thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past present and future father god please give us guidance and wisdom for august 2020 show me the money energy and we thank you for all the blessings that you have placed on our footsteps ahead father god amen Amen. Y'all, let's get into this because I don't know why I'm just like, I'm rushing, okay? Because I want to figure out what is going on with you guys. I hope everyone has been good. Have you been good? Have you been good? Some of you not. It's okay. I like me a little naughtiness every now and then, okay? <laughs> oh, I was about to sing something so inappropriate. Like Kaya, the thug misses. Y'all know how she always be like, you know, I need a little dick every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> Why did Kaya thug misses just pop up my head? Cause I need a little dick every now and then. Anyway, let me stop y'all. I'm clowning. I am clowning. Look, some of y'all ladies like, no, no, Kaya, right? Cause I do need a little. I was just okay. I'm clowning. I'm clowning. Okay, let me stop. Give me guidance from my Libra for August. Thank you so much. Shoot. Um, no, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. One card, please. Thank you very much, Libra. Y'all not about to do me today. Y'all's not about to have me out here reading no book. Oh, the kiss. Ooh, a kiss from a rose on the way. Ooh, and now that your roses are bloom, life in the moon on the way. Hey, y'all, I'm sorry, I don't know the words to that damn song, but my mother drove me damn crazy. When did it come off the Batman soundtrack? The Kiss from a Rose by Seal? My mother, y'all, y'all remember back in the day um, when Immature was the shit? My mother recorded over um, my Immature video. Y'all remember how we used to uh, record videos off of the box? I'm showing my age, y'all. 
I'm showing my age. Y'all remember how we used to record videos off of MTV in the box and all that shit back in the day? Y'all, I was so in love with this group called Immature. And they had this song, um, it's like, Can you stop the rain? It was something about Can you stop the rain or something like that. Some song. My mother recorded that goddamn Kiss from a Rose Batman video over my fucking Immature. Oh my God. Do y'all know? It's about to be a rumble in the jungle. You don't record over my Batman and my LDB and my, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, anyway. We got the kiss here, y'all. Okay, the kiss from a rose, y'all. Ooh. Oh, my God. Hold on. Let me say Batman, little drummer boy, and Romeo. Hold on. Do you got a Romeo? I hope he got both eyes, though. I hope he got both eyes. Anyway, um... Let <coughs> Oh my goodness, the kiss. I like the, I like that little hand embrace right there, y'all. Who y'all getting into? What is y'all getting? Hold on, y'all. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Looks like there's a kiss here. There's a moment of intimacy, a passion and love, you guys. I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. It's when the sun hits the moon, you guys. I'm trying to tell you when the sun hits the moon. Let's find out what's going on with my Libras with this kiss. Uh, I just feel like God I just did it okay hold on hold on because it hit me in my chest it hit me in my chest y'all um I'm just feeling like Libra really really needs like intimacy right now and I'm literally getting chill bumps like I don't know if y'all can see like I am literally getting chill bumps um it's like I feel like Libra hasn't really been touched, hasn't been kissed, hasn't been dealt with in a like a very passionate way, and they're like so eager to just like love, like real love. It's not, it's not sex. It's about a passionate engagement. You know what I'm saying? Like slow kissing and all of that stuff like that because we don't already been through this stage where we've been running around fucking like rabbits it's totally different when there's creativity and just like have you ever been with someone just been so passionate and creative with you in the band like you've never been touched that way you've never been kissed that way you've never like a kiss can be so different with a certain level of just like passion behind it man like I can go like I'm serious I can like talk about this for a minute because people just don't understand me when I say I can go a very long time without having sex because if it's not if we don't have that connection if it's not passionate if it's not deep I don't fucking want it I don't want it. I want something. I want just a kiss that made me forget every single body that I've ever been with in my past. That's how strong a passionate kiss is. It can make you forget everything. It can erase all memories. You know? So, ooh, what's this? You got the emperor in the reverse. But I it ain't hit the table. I'm putting that back. Let's see. Let's see. So, what that is basically saying, because they're like, no, you can address that. Libra is tired of being with people who are irresponsible and don't know their own way. They're tired of being with people that are irresponsible, don't know their own way, and looking for Libra to take care of them in some, some sort of type of way. It's like, I need someone that's going to be passionate. I need someone that's going to be engaged, committed, loving. You know, all of that, all of that. It's like I'm tired of having like a one-sided relationship. I want both parties are mutually engaged and want to be there. It want to be there. You know, what is this? The five of wands. So this means like it could be conflict. Not major conflict, but I feel like like you lit the match on something. Like there's a flame that's burning there, and it might be that you're trying to upstage the competition. So you might be taking a fine look at what else is on the table, what else could possibly be getting in the way of this like passionate connection, this desire. Cause listen, the fire. 
And you know what? This could be a, even a combative exchange in regards to sexual intimacy. It's like you guys could be competing with each other in the bed, like trying to outmatch each other. Because if you pay attention to this, you see how this one fire has been lit. That's that Ace of Wands. And you know the Ace of Wands can represent sexual, passionate intimacy. And then you have the Four of Wands in his matchbook. You get it? Match book. Four of Wands represents the four posts of a love making bed. It represents marriage. It represents commitment. It represents honor, respect. It represents people coming together, celebrating in a bed, a four post bed. Fire lit. Untamed, unmatched, unfuckwittable. Have you ever? had a kiss so strong so deep so unique y'all are in the bed literally trying to tear each like it's a wwf world wrestling federation <laughs> match in the bed it's like oh it's like you let this person just take over and, and and just get on top and just do it. and you're just like being completely enwrapped and engulfed in this person's fire and it's just like you just let them take you and then you just like oh just wait until I flip you over and then you get on top and then you just motherfucking just do the damn thing and then this person get engulfed and entrapped and just engulfed in everything that you got going on and it's like war in the bed war in the fucking bed you guys that's what I'm getting I am not even getting I'm not getting any type of like negative conflict I'm not not with that four wands and that matchbook. And I don't know. It's like a fucking matchbook with someone playing a matchmaker or something. The eight of fucking swords. The eight of swords is like when you're confined, you're locked in, you're bound to something. It's like. Why am I getting a 21 gun salute? What does 21 gun salute mean anyway? Mmm, I get it. 21 gun salute. I, I still don't know what 21 gun salute means, but it's like, I feel like that's like, is, is, is that putting something to rest? Or is that like burying a soldier or something like that? Is that what 21 gun salute means? Y'all let me know down in the comments. What does 21 gun salute me? This, this eight of uh, swords here. What I'm getting for this, the eight of swords is someone being trapped and confined and being in a conflicting situation. Um, God, why do I feel? Because I don't like the way that skull is coming down. I feel like it's some type of negative energy that is like, I feel like it's some type of negative energy that is trying to compromise your space. It's a negative energy trying to compromise your space. And I feel like these are yours. 40 swords are yours. And for your swords is, is, is this other person's. Um, I don't know how y'all can hold a four swords because you only got two hands. But. I feel like it's many people backing this thing up. It's like, back up. Like, why you won't just allow me to be happy? It's just like something is just like trying to come and tie you up and get you fixated in something else so you can't enjoy this. I feel like something is trying to attack you. And it's like all hands on deck. Like we got to back this person. We got to back this thing out because it's trying to interfere with my happiness, with my joy. With, I really do feel like, God, I want to look up 21 gun salute now because I have to know what that means. I have to know what that means for me to understand why they said that to me. Wait a minute. 21 gun salute. It is the most commonly recognized as a customary gun salute that are performed by 
firing cannons and artillery at military honor. It says, what does 21 gun stand for? It's a military funeral. So again, again, uh, with this here, I feel like you guys are in a place where um, you're with someone that meets your match and you compete with each other. You don't compete with any outside sources. So I really do feel like any type of outside sources. Do you see how that you see how that face is trying to appear? I don't know if this is something that the type that binds you together. It's something that binds you to this dark entity here. And you want it to back the fuck away. It's like back the fuck up off me, bitch. Because it's like I'm going to have to like you're not going to get me fucked up this time. You are not. You're not. It's like I'm good. It's like I'm finally in a place where I'm enjoying my life. And every time I, I get away from you, it's like a fight again. That's why I'm getting 21 gun salute. It's like a, it's like a battle. It's like a fucking battle for your happiness. Can I find the Six of Swords? I mean, the Six of Swords. Six of Swords. You must have moved away. You must have moved away. The judgment in the reverse. So this is like something not being fair. Something not going your way. Um, Something. This is like a lack of resources a lack of position like you don't hold any position anymore to be able to it's like someone's lost a position of favor a favoritism or something because their judgment I'm um, clarify the five of wands because I just want to make sure clarify the five of wands for me please or is that just as it stands? The Knight of Swords. So, okay. Ooh, that just said someone over there choking on the truth. God damn. God deals am. God deals am. So someone over there choking on the truth. It's like blunt information. It's just like, listen. I hate I hate to pull a rabbit out the hat on you, but look, I got a new trick of the trade. Um, I don't really fuck with you like that no more. I'm dating somebody. I'm dating somebody, and I don't I don't know if I can continue to do nothing with you. I don't want to do anything with you at all. Like I just you know, I got something else going on. I got something else going on. And I really do feel like with this, it's like something that hurts someone. It's like you just showing up and just speaking your truth and honoring yourself with the truth. Because if, even if you look at this, like, this is a sword. It's like, you know, I hate to cut shit short with you. But at the end of the day, like, I have... So, and then also, like, the Knight of Swords to me, it does represent, like, fast communication, fast, a fast reaction, a, fa a fast answer. So... I feel like the light has been lit in regards to a new engagement. There's a new engagement here. And I feel like the 21 gun salute is to whatever this thing was. It, whatever this was, was negative. It was negative and it was dark. It, even if you look at this, this looks like the hand of the this, of this soldier. Don't these look like the hands of the soldier? Look at his outfit and then look at this. Look at the trimming of the. As I, I refuse to engage and operate in this battle with you anymore. Like there's really no competition. Um, I'm thoroughly enthralled and engaged into this new situation. So like whatever the fuck it is that you got to say. I know it might be someone that you're trapped with. Uh, and you got to deal with them. This could be a family member. This could be someone that you've had to deal with for a long time. And you have to communicate with them no matter what. Because this means communication. And it means with this. Do you see how this 
person you see this it's like being sharp being direct no wiggle room in the middle back the fuck up bottom line because this represents being bound being trapped this to me is also like another devil card or being incarcerated this can mean incarceration you know what i'm saying due to felt judgment so someone could be getting incarcerated and going to jail because you know whatever evidence some evidence some truth or something came out quick and fast you know what i'm saying and shed the light on something that eliminated the competition you know what i'm saying like eliminated the competition because something was revealed you know what I'm? something was revealed by your competitor I don't know. I don't know if someone is is incarcerated now because of their lack of judgment because they were doing. Why am I feeling now? They're telling me someone's doing some type of fraud or something like that. Why am I feeling like someone got locked up and that leaves you free? Cause some something something didn't go in someone's favor, and it's incarcerating them like they're going to be locked up and again it lessens the competition because i feel like some truth comes out or someone just spoke honorably or the law could have came and got up the knight of swords the knight of swords i also look at that as it's the jack of clubs the, i mean not the jack of clubs the jack of spades the jack of spades is, a, is is law enforcement that is most definitely law enforcement I feel like there's some law enforcement going on here. Something has been something has been lit. The fire has been lit. Someone's going to jail. Why do I feel like someone is going to jail now? Last kiss goodbye with crystals. Recharged your enemy. Oh! <laughs> You recharge your energy and you upcharge your enemy, okay, bitch? It says your connection with crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. So you guys are healed. You don't recharge your energy and you don't upcharge your enemy, okay? I Why am I feeling like someone snitched? Like, did somebody, did you go run and tell? Is someone doing some type of fucking... What is it, these COVID scams or something? I would keep hearing about a whole bunch of people getting all this fraudulent money through these COVID um, rescue relief funds and all of this stuff like that. Uh, yo, young, I'm trying to tell. I, mm, I don't know why I'm feeling like someone might just come out with the truth. Just come out very bluntly, very fast. It's like, I, I feel like... Something comes out fast. Something gets brought to the light fast that lessens the competition. And it's left you in a place where you're able to enjoy these kisses. You're able to enjoy these connections. Listen, you got your crystals. You got God on your side. You're being healed. You're being protected. You're being completely enwrapped in this embrace. And I feel like these other people, these negative energies, these negative entities, they're not on the right side of God. They're not on the right side of judgment. These people are being put away. These people are being confined, I feel like, so that you can enjoy these sweet kisses. Like, there's no need to compete. There's no need to have drama and confusion going on. Because at the end of the day, once the truth come out, your ass going to go to jail any motherfucker way. I, that's the way I feel. That's the way that I feel about it. And if I want to, I will get fickety. And I will bring out them other cards. And we can find out what the hell is going on in the shadows. Because... I really feel like there is something seduction and then heartbroken. I'm trying to tell y'all someone is being. There's a match in the bedroom. That's all I know. There's a match in the bedroom that's beating out all of the competitions. And I'm really trying to tell you that someone is heartbroken because you, they've been. You're being seduced by someone else. Someone is heartbroken. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to leave that there. It says heartbroken. 
deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, a third party interference. I feel like you found somebody else and someone from your past or someone that is your present because of whatever type of commitment that you have like whatever it is with this person i really do feel like with this person over there i feel like you cannot get rid of them even if you wanted to they could be trying to seduce you and to get you trapped back into their bullshit because they think that you don't you're not smart enough that you have a lack of judgment. They don't think much of you and they think that they can easily get you wrapped up into this shit. And this could be you getting incarcerated incarcerated into their bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because this person thinks that you don't have you you don't you don't think much of yourself. Like you I'm sorry, but like it's like you either this person thinks that you stupid and that you ain't got no good judgment and that you can easily get called back into their trap again. And you going to be heartbroken because you got caught up in their seduction and clearly there's third party energy and all this fool la la going on over here, girl. Like, all of this is what's going on. And this person think that you're the nuts or these motherfuckers is stupid because they thought that they were going to be able to seduce you again. And they ended up heartbroken because at the end of the day, like, they got cut out. They got cut out and or... There was some type of fraud or something that's going on where this person is end up going to jail that makes it free, that frees things up for the person that they were trying to control because the eight of swords is controlled, my nigga. Do you understand? Girl talk. It says time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Yes. So again, I do think that um whoever this is. These kisses and things like that. You guys have moved on. Like you guys moved on. This person thinks that you're stupid. And you don't and you lack judgment and that you can easily be manipulated and controlled and get caught up in it. Like this person, this is devil energy that what I'm getting here. Toxic, codependent, fuckery, bullshit. The key on the chain. Love call and cassette. So, in regards to this situation that you got going on over here, I don't necessarily think that it's something that you think is going to stand the test of time. I really do feel like you're getting over this situation. Like, you're finally broke free from this seduction and this person being able to control and manipulate you and be codependent on you. I feel like whoever this new person is, um, they might have came into your life fast and you know, it's just a lot of quick communication and things like things could have happened fast because I always take the um the Knight of Swords as somebody rushing, rushing to tell you something, rushing, wanting things to be explained quickly and just just wanting truth and you know what I'm saying I feel like the truth of the matter is is that this person is just a key on the ring that whoever this Libra is has many options they have decisions they're living an unconventional a unconventional life look this person might just be being strong strung along and is a one night stand to this Libra you know um yeah this person is competition like this Libra can have this situation over here where they're enjoying these new kisses and everything like that. But then they also got this bullshit over here, which isn't positive at all. And I believe that the Libra knows the control and the negative energy that this person possesses over their life. And this Libra understands that this is lack of judgment. I feel like the Libra is just playing the field right now. And has a healthy dose of competition on the table. And this motherfucker don't like it. But this motherfucker about to go to jail anyway, goddamn. So look, it says love calls. Someone expressing their love. A message of love. Thinking about you and letting you know. This came out in the reverse. So I don't think that this is love. I feel like this is just a key on a ring. Just one of the many options that Libra has right now. And they're just ex enjoying the sexual and just intimate exchange. I feel like with whoever this person is right now. 
they just honoring each other with a lot of they're very talkative like they're just friends I really do feel like this the cassette it's outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head so with this cassette here this is still so so very much evident and present in this person's life I want to say that this Libra is just playing the field. They just want to, I feel like they just want to talk to someone that's mature, someone that's engaging, someone that speaks truth, and they said someone that can spill their guts about the way they feel. I feel like the Libra is taking the player approach this time around. Um, not like a player in a, in a negative way, but just going over their options listening to what people got to say like what's wrong with a little healthy competition like his kiss is a little bit better than yours he ain't got all this drama like you do or vice versa you know what i'm saying it could be vice versa um i feel like this libra isn't telling anybody that they love him because at the end of the day all of this shit over here is still playing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again in their mind and Libra is not trying to go from the same shit in a different toilet and I believe that every time Libra talks to this person over here I don't know if you guys have kids or something because if you guys don't have kids I don't even understand why this person is even in your life because if you look at the way that this person is this person looks at you like you stupid like they could just easily come in with their dark negative force and shit like that and control you because you stupid like that's literally and I'm sorry like I'm being blunt with you guys this person does not think much of you they think that a little bit of sexual seduction is all that needs to be put on the table and you're going to fall into it and you're going to be sitting there heartbroken yet again and you're going to be trapped Mm. Let's get into this. I really want to go into the shadows first. Like, I really, really do because I need a little bit more explanation into this situation, y'all. So, give me one second. Boop. Boop. Where is that? Boom. Ooh. Mmm. I need to get my shadows deck. Because I want to see. And I haven't used this deck in a minute. Because I really do not like doing no fucking karmic readings and shit like that. I really don't. But when it comes down to me helping you guys, you guys need to know the truth of the matter. Because I'm not helping you if I'm not telling you the truth. So let's see what's going on. What's, what's going on over here, please? Explain to me... Um, did I just mix all my shit? Oh, did I do that? I did. Oh my god, y'all. I just fucked up, y'all. I just mashed all my... Y'all, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Hold on, you guys. God, I, it's like I really hate these cards sometimes because they are so dark. Like, And that's why I don't use them like that because they're so dark. But it's like every time that I use them, it like literally do be coming down to the T. Like what we really need to know about this situation. So I feel like there's two different individuals here. Curious in this competition. So tell me what's going on over here on this side of the incarceration. This is lack of judgment. It just said like this person don't think straight and really don't understand what's going on with this person over here because I want to say that this person is over this this one's control over here and they know that it is a lack of judgment on their part if they continue to allow this person to trap them in to their manipulation and, and, and their control and things like that robotic so the Libra feels like this shit that they, they done been through this shit over here 15 million times over. It's robotic. Same shit 
different day. You're not going to change. You always give me the same options. And I'm just, I, I, I don't, I don't see how it benefits me at all. And now this person is enslaved to their own energy because maybe they ain't have good judgment. They thought that Libra was going to continue this robotic shit. And Libra is like, listen, I'm sorry to hurt your feelings. But um, you got competition. Like, maybe if you was the secondary. Yeah. This person feels secondary. This person knows that they're not it no more. That there's competition. I told you with that five of wands. Doubt. There's doubt in their system now. Ruthlessness. And it's like this motherfucker won't fuck up both of you. I'm serious. That's why it's like, that's why the Libra is like, back the fuck up. Back up. Don't come over here with that drama. Do not come over here with that shit. Don't come over here with that shit. Because I'm trying to tell you now, you're going to jail. You're going to jail. You're going to jail. I'm trying to tell y'all right now, if there is someone. Because this person is hurt. This person is hurt because Libra done. Libra is done. Libra is done. She done. She don't want it no more. She don't want it no more. You know? And now, all of that energy that this person had put in the Libra at one, one point in time, feeling second, feeling doubtful, feeling, you know, doubting their self, you know, having this ruthless rage, wanting to get back at this person, that energy has been transferred over to this person that Libra has been dealing with. Catch them teas, bitch. Let me find out what's going on in the shadows with Libra. What's going on in the shadows with the Libra? The sellout in the reverse. They said, I'm not selling my soul out no more. I'm not doing that shit. Libra, Libra felt like I was a good person. And then you got the insecure at the bottom. So listen, I'm going to have to take this. So Libra felt like in this situation, they felt like they sold their soul. They sold their soul out. Like they allowed someone with so much negative energy to break their barriers of honesty and trust. And this person did not bring any honesty and trust. Like this person broke them open and made them feel like they had to be susceptible to pain. This person made them doubt their self. This person made them feel secondary. This person kept putting them through the same shit over and over and over and over again. Towards the way where Libra got down on her knees and she felt, she or he felt so insecure about their self. It's like, even though I know I got so much good in me, but this person brings out the evil and the worst in me. And I keep committing myself to something that is not good for my soul. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's the, the, that, that's the thing with this Libra. And then that's, that's the reason why this Libra is like, I'm not going to let you do this to me no more. But yet the same, the shit keeps playing over and over and over and over and over and over in this Libra's head. And I feel like that's why they are not, I feel like they are passionately engaging and just talking to people. Just talking to people, enjoying the kisses and everything like that. Recharging their crystals. Girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. This is where the Libra is. This is where the Libra is because they're not going to set themselves out no more. And they're not going to keep themselves down on the ground where they're feeling insecure. If anything, bitch, you going to feel insecure because you could kiss my ass. Do you understand what I'm saying? You could kiss both sides of my ass, bitch. And I hope you don't enjoy it. Secondary. <laughs> Let's wrap this up, please. So what we got to say about my Libra? Yeah, it's like this person felt dirty. It's like, I want to say that this person... Libra is trying to scrub this energy off of them. It's like, because I don't even see Libra 
living in a dank, nasty environment like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like Libra felt like a sellout and felt like a, like they were ashamed of themselves. That's why I'm so proud of Libra. You know what I'm saying? Uh -uh -uh. I am enjoying myself right now. I got a few options out here. I ain't expressing no love. Listen, don't ever get me fucked up. I ain't telling nobody that I love them. Because I don't want to go through the same shit that I went through with this motherfucker. And I'm still having to deal and manage and work with this shit. Because this person is still, still, still at it. This person is still at it. Like, this person is still actively, like, trying to get you to sell yourself out again. Only for them to show you the same fucking ruthless behavior that they did. Libra knows better. Okay. What's the outcome for Libra? The five of pentacles in the reverse. Listen, uh, Libra said, I'm out of this situation. God has opened up the door. I finally came inside. I have safe refuge. I'm in safe keeping. I no longer feel low. I no longer feel insecure. I have a total sense of value. Things are looking up for me. I'm feeling emotionally stable. I'm feeling mentally stable. I'm I, I swear, I feel like this person over here tried to destroy my Libra. I don't like you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm serious. This person really tried to, to, to try to diminish and try to make, try to tear Libra down towards the way that they felt like nothing. Now they're sitting over there feeling like nothing. Piece of fucking lonely shit. And I hope you do go to jail. Fuck you, bitch. Give me guidance about this idiot. The seven of pentacles in the reverse. Listen, Libra said, I will not wait on you. This is a lost cause. I can't even go to the mall and ball out with this little bit of chump change here. Because at the end of the day, what I have vested in this situation, I surely didn't get out. And I can't go to the mall with that, bitch. Boop. Bye. Okay. Okay. Burnt toast. Burnt biscuits. Dry cookies. Bitch, I'm sorry. Like, you ain't even serving nothing that I want. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your buffet platter do not got anything on it that I want. Burnt toast. Burnt cookies. I don't know what the fuck I said, but whatever the hell I said, bitch. All of that. What's crossing this person? What do the Lord want to say to this person over here in the name of Jesus? Okay, oh Lord. Woo! You got the wheel of fortune in the reverse. <laughs> Listen, um, bad luck for you, sir. Hold on, what did what did uh Kiki Palmer say? Um, I don't I don't even know this man. <laughs> oh, it's an unfortunate, unfortunate endeavors coming in. I, I, I don't know. You poor unfortunate soul. <laughs> Bitch, what you put out, you get back. Okay? So all of that drama that you was trying to send to your baby mama is coming back to his founder. It's coming back to you. It's coming back to his founder. Okay? It's coming right back to you, bitch. So everything that you put out, you gonna get right back, bitch. You, look, you ain't leave with a full tank and you ain't coming back with one. And you can clearly tell that your ass ain't had no full tank before you pulled off, bitch boy. Okay? You got the queen of pinnacles in the reverse. Baby, she ain't got nothing to get to you. She ain't got nothing. She ain't trying to take care of you. She ain't trying to love you. She ain't trying to nurture you. She ain't trying to help you. She ain't trying to do a motherfucking thing for you, bitch. Do you get me? She ain't got nothing for you. Nothing. Nothing. She ain't got a motherfucking thing for you. Nine of Pentacles. Goddamn. Um, Libra is, is, is on boss hog status. You see her standing over there? Do you see her standing over there? Okay, bitch. When she said, listen, I came up out of that as soon as I... Stepped away from you. I came up out of that lag, bitch. I came up on a stack. You must have got me fucked up. You must have got me fucked up. Now, you can sit back and watch me be that made woman, bitch. And you can't touch me. You can't touch me. I am honored and I am armored with the forces of God. Bitch, you cannot touch me. Okay? And I ain't got nothing for you. I don't have a motherfucker dime for you, bitch. Not a penty, bitch. I'm pentyless when it come to you, bitch. Alright? So don't be calling me from jail as, oh, I need a cup of noodles, bitch. I don't give a fuck about your cup of noodles, bitch. Eat dirt. Fuck out of here. Okay? What you put out, you get back. Okay? So I don't know what the fuck about to happen with this, but I am sorry. I am broke. 
you're going to jail. I'm sorry. I don't know why I feel like someone's going to jail, y'all. I don't know why I feel like someone is going to jail and it's like they going to Libra the one with the money now. Libra is the one with everything and she ain't got shit. She don't feel responsible for you. She's not responsible for you. Fuck out of here. Look. Good luck. Or not. <laughs> Bitch, good luck. Or not. Okay. Oh, bronze. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. King of Wands. Okay, come on, King of Wands. All right, well, what's crossing my Libras? See, y'all, see, Libra, y'all done did me, bitch. <laughs> Libra said, I done got a kiss from a rose. I got me a couple of new boos. I ain't worried about none of this bullshit, baby. I, listen, I'm connected. I'm good. I'm talking to my, I'm enjoying myself. Girl, come on now. What is this? Eight of Wands. Listen, a lot of new passionate information. A lot of new shit is coming to you fast. Fast and in a hurry. Fast and furious. A lot of positive information is coming to you. Do you understand? Be open to all new experiences. Just be open. You know? As long as you ain't open to this, everything else that's coming your way is going to be a blessing. Continue to stay. Remember everything that this motherfucker taught you. And don't be mad at this motherfucker because this person did what he was supposed to do. He was supposed to teach you a lesson of your worth. Don't ever let nobody shut you out and make you feel like shit and make you feel secondary. Bitch, they can eat ass crack and ass vault as far as I'm concerned. Bitch, next, okay? Tell that motherfucker do not call me collect when your ass goes to jail. Because I already know that your ass been out here doing these little COVID motherfucking goddamn um scams and shit and bitch. And when they come and lock your ass up, you better make sure one of them hoes got you because bitch, I ain't got nothing for you. Take care now. Bye bye then. All right. So I am gone. Libra, I love you. And y'all already know the T. Y'all, listen, I gotta go. I love y'all. Peace.